In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic search bar that searches through a list of elements. For example, a list of names like I have here on my screen right now. So you can basically type in a search query and then it will fetch out the most relevant search. If that's something that interests you, let's dive right in. All right, so I have this kind of a setting here. So for example, I have some app right now that has all of these elements or a list of names and I want to search up a search for a particular name. So if I were to hit play and search for a name, let's search for game guy because why not? And if I just hit search, nothing really happens. But if I just scroll down, you can see the game guy is on the list. But I need to find the game guys. So how do I do that? So in order to do that, we are going to need some sort of a search manager. But before that, let me show you the basic settings. So, so I have here the search panel, which has this simple input field for the search bar and a search button. And I also have this scroll view that has a list of all the different game developers. If I just go inside of viewport, and here we have all the names. Basically, it's just a simple image that has a text component as a child attached to it, which is a name of some game developer. All right, and so that's basically the whole setting here. So now what we are going to do is create the actual search manager. So let's create an empty game object and we'll call it search manager. Let's reset its position and create a new script. We will call this one the search script. Create an add. Here it is and let's just drag and drop this inside of the scripts folder. Open it up. Alright, so here the first thing we are going to do is remove both these using tags, of course. We are not going to need them. But we do need another one, so let's so let's include the TM Pro or Text Mesh Pro. So the first thing that we are going to do is create a public game object reference for the content holder that holds all of the content. And a public game object array for the elements. Alright, and another public game object reference for the search bar. And lastly, an integer that holds that holds the total number of elements that we have on our list. All right, so that's basically all we need. So inside of the start method, we are going going to set the total number of elements to the number of child that our content holder has. So if we just go to our content holder inside of Unity. So you can see all of these elements. So, so what we are going to do is fetch these individual childs and load them into an array. So let's create an element array and we are going to pass in the total elements for the size. And now what we are going to do is create a for loop that goes through zero all the way to the total number of elements. And then what we are going to do is set the individual element to the child of the content holder one by one. Dot game object. All right, so it will just take all of the childs of our content holder and load them into our element array. Save this and head back inside of Unity to test this out. So let's feed all of these reference. And first let's drag and drop the content and also the search bar. All right, so that's all we need to do. Let's hit play, see if it works. As you can see here, all of the elements are automatically fetched one by one. And if we just try to click one of these, you can see these are in, these are in a perfect order. So now we have all of the elements inside an array and we can perform the search. So let's just remove this update method. We're not going to need them. Let's create another one. We will call this one search. 
and inside of this the very first thing we are going to do is create a string for the search text that we are going to enter so the search query search bar dot get component we are going to get the of course tmp input field from and we are going to get the text component and we are also going to save the length of our input we are going to call this one the search text length of course you can call it whatever you want and we are going to set this equal to search text dot length all right and now we can go through each of these elements so for that i'm going to use a for each loop and which will run through each of our elements so ELE for element in our element array and there's another thing we are going to need and that is an integer that will keep hold of the number of elements that have been searched we will call this one search elements set it equal to zero and every time we search through one we are simply going to increase it by one now the first check that we need to do here is we are going to check if it's the particular element text so like any name of the youtubers that i had on my list so we are going to check if the length of their text is actually greater than or equal to the search term the search query that we have just put in well if it is true then what we can do is we can create a substring we can get us we can create a substring from the name and compare it to our search term so we are basically going to compare our search query so whatever letters that we have currently put in and we are going to compare it with the text of the element that we are currently on we are going to divide that text into a substring that starts from zero all the way to the length of our search query so we have equal letters to compare to there's one more thing that we need to do we are going to bring them both to a lower capitalization and also this one to lower as well so if both of these are matching so we are just going to set the particular element to true and the other ones to false so yeah that's basically all we need to do so let's just save this and head back inside of unity to try it out all right all right let's go to the search bar and and here on value change we are going to call our search method so let's drag and drop the search manager and call the search method from here there it is that's all we need to do so now whenever we type anything it will show the results in real time let's see if it works it has fed all of the elements and now if we try to search something let's put in a single letter g and it has already fed the game guy let's try b and it has broad brickies and black thorn broad try one more time sebastian and psycho yeah so everything is working perfectly and if we just go to our viewport you can see that it just basically disables all the elements and enables the one that matches it that matches our search perfect so the other thing that we can do is let the user finish its search and actually hit the search button to start searching so in order to do that we we simply need to go to the search bar and remove this function from here and instead let's set the button on click event to call our search method uh, not this one of course the search method here it is let's try it out and now if we try to search for something it doesn't search in real time we actually have to, have to hit the search button here and if we try brekkies let's see if it fetches brekkies of course it does awesome so yeah everything is working so this is how you create a basic search system so that goes through a list of elements and and fetches the relevant result awesome i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this also thanks to all my patreon supporter you guys are amazing